Good morning, friends. Welcome to my home. See my home. It is not S W E my home. It is C my home. For security reasons, I constructed my house like a railway train. You have to go from one room to another. There is certain procedure for this. In in C language terms, it is called procedure language, which performs a series of sequential steps. In our home. we have old people and people middle aged people it is tough for us to understand every function in our home hence we created a manual for key functions in our home you need to simply carry this manual every time when you are entering into our house it makes our life easy in c language terms it is called header file if you see the header file here this is called header file The scdio.h is called header file. It is called standard input header. So it has all standard input commands. Now you are entering into our house. This is there is a main gate, there is a main entry, and we have only one entrance and one exit to our home. So the main entrance starts from this, and the final exit goes like this. So this is the This is how the house has been constructed. Whoever comes to our house, we always give them a written gift as an orange fruit. We think it is auspicious. It looks like a zero. If you get some other gift other than this round shaped orange, we think something inauspicious. So whoever is entering to our main entrance from here, when they are exiting in the end, we send them with this written gift. This is the orange zero. and uh, someone has to carry a bag to carry this zero right so that is nothing but this written type now you entered into our home did you see how we printed the name plate so we printed our name plate using this command welcome to advait kutir okay okay so did you understand why i'm saying okay okay so that is nothing but this particular instruction whenever i say okay okay so it means that i am going to the next step similarly in c language every statement should end with this semicolon so that it understands that we are going to the next step my dear guest how much time you are going to stay in our home so please tell us how much time you are going to stay in our home oh you would like to stay for 5 minutes so since it is the time which is an integer value so with this command i am going to take your time and i am also printing you in this manner in our home i am very tall i am the father my wife is short i have a girl i have a funky boy and i have grandparent and we have a aged grandfather and grandmother in our home so our girl is born she is the girl and uh, we are typecasting as a girl and the boy is born and we are typecasting the boy he is the maid we have few music instruments as well in our home so one is veena second one is guitar and the third one is a fusion when i clap veena and guitar it comes like this so the fusion is the combination of this one and this one of a similar type these both are musical instruments my dear friend what is your drinking preference what do you want to have in your house oh yeah give us the drinking preference oh your drinking preference is banana or not so when i ask for a drinking preference which is a string i take it this way and i am also printing the same drinking preference using this particular command if if your drinking preference is banana so i am giving you banana juice else if your drinking preference is something else or you have not chosen then i am going to give you only bottle milk so this is the basic if condition in c language oh you are not telling anything sorry i am not getting anything from you right 
I'm going to count for 10 numbers. If you share within the 10 numbers, I will leave you. Otherwise, I'm not going to leave you. So my counting starts now. While this count is less than 10, I'm going to do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh yeah, that's it. Thank you for sharing your preference. So I'm coming out of my loop now. This is the basic while loop in C language. Where do we start now? So we have around four or five rooms in a sequence. Which one you would like to go first? So can you share the preference, the which room number you want to be in first? So I use the switch command to get directly into that particular room. So give me the room number. So I'll go either to one, which is my drawing hall, or two, which is my children's room, three, which is my kitchen. If not, we, we can't show you much and we don't have any more halls. Oh, these are the two kids I have now. So they have a different preferences for their breakfast. My dear daughter, what is your preference? Roti. So we have only one single kitchen and mother cooks the preference of their choice in that particular kitchen. So my daughter is saying prepare roti in the kitchen which we have. My son is saying prepare sweet rice in the same kitchen. So whenever I have a same type of preparation needed, since I have only one kitchen, I will make a function called kitchen function. So I have a separate room where everyone has an access, everyone can, everyone can go into that particular area and cook whatever they want. See first time I am entering into this with the roti as my preference, I am returning back roti here. Now I am again going for my son's case which is the sweet rice I am getting inside. Again I am going back and giving the sweet rice back to my son. Now come to the final part of my house which is a secret place. We have one locker in our home. So today I am holding only 20,000 rupees. If I want to see the value of the amount which is there in this particular address, I just need to say star PTR. If I want to know the exact address of the place where I kept this money, then I just need to say PTR. So this is the pointer concept in C language. Now my money has been increased to 10,000 to 20,000 to 1 lakh. So in my particular address value, I just added 1 lakh. Now again, if I go back, if I see how much is actually there in my particular locker, it will only return me 1 lakh because I am saying star PTR. If I just want to know the address again, it will again give back the same address where the original address value was stored. Only value will change but my locker's address is always same. Thank you so much. It is just fun and this is a, this is a simple C program and we have covered pointers, we have covered functions, we have covered uh, switch statements. We also covered the loops, we covered if conditions, we covered basic data types, we covered the typecasting, we covered basic input scanf and uh, printf etc. And we covered basic main function and header files. Thank you very much. This is the first C program. Learn C while you have a fun. Thank you.